sure you move to the National Assembly concerning the concession of the Agriculture Take Up Revenue Crusades. Since then, I've been an ardent follower of your crusade. I sincerely welcome the family of Professor Adibari Akrimi to this memorial lecture in honor of your dear husband, father, and brethren, now of blessed memory. Join me to specially welcome the students of the University of Benin President in this auditorium, even led by Comrade Charles Idea, the President of the Student Union of Government, a product of my faculty, our faculty, the Faculty of Management Sciences. website 
MSRO Unibank of Apple. The first ever online version of the journal has just been uploaded. Mr. Vice Chancellor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have put in place a digital central faculty presentation of postgraduate seminar and proposal comparable to what is obtainable in developed clients. In addition, sir, through the magnanimity of one of our awardees for today's event, Mr. Ifai Owanchiku, work with Sue Commerce on an ultra modern convenience facility for the new faculty of management science building. This fits with no score we have to ameliorate the challenges of the students of the faculty. The first ever workshop on research and national development was completed recently at the faculty. It was in collaboration between the faculty and International Accounting Accessory Research Group. This research group was approved in 2017 by your humble self, sir, my best self The workshop was for both staff and students of not only the University of Benin, but inclusive of students and staff of other sister universities, research institutes, and government power starters. The course was done entirely by research group. I am happy to announce that the first international conference of the faculty will be taking place sometime in December 2019. The Faculty of Management Sciences just had its first ever validating lecture in the history of the faculty delivered by Professor Paul and Professor Ustazai. <laughs> All these achievements are not by my strength. Record the Bible in 1 Samuel 2 9, for my strength shall no more prevail. It is by the glory of the Almighty God shining over the faculty. According to Romans 9, 16, so then, it is not of him that ruleth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. Mr. Vice Chancellor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm deeply humbled by the opportunity to preside over the affairs of the Faculty of Management Sciences. I'd like to say goodbye to our great professors who now belong to eternity. I welcome each and every one of us present in this auditorium. I shall, we shall occupy till he comes. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless Nigeria. Put your hands together for Mr. D, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for Professor James Zabaya. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, before the opening speech by the chairman of today's occasion. Before that, you know one beautiful thing about being a master of ceremony is that uh, there are certain powers that I have and no other person in this hall has it. And I have the immunity of the chairman of today's occasion, the vice chancellor. We are here to celebrate Professor Adebayo Akerele. Earlier, I said that I had the distinct honor and pleasure to have been taught by him and also to have interacted with him as a friend. For many of us sitting here in this auditorium today, we will just hear who is this Akele that the entire faculty has devoted today, the 17th of July 2019, to celebrate. So let's get to know who he is. And that's why that, that power conferred on me as a master of ceremony, I'm inserting an item. That will now be at um, 3B or 4B now. For some to invite the assistant dean, Dr. Omorebe, to please come over and read the profile of the man we honor today, Professor Adebayo Akele of Pani. Good morning, my 
Vice Chancellor, they will be represented by the Deputy Vice Chancellor, academics, permit me to stand on the existing protocols. This is the profile of Professor Adebayo Akirini. Professor Adebayo Akirini was born on 7th October 1934 as Igara Edo State to Azeka Azego and Maria Ebenio Akirini. Like his age needs, he started off in the he started off in the farm but was expelled because in the farm his marginal propensity to consume was said was said to be more than his marginal propensity to produce. And so, his marginal output was less than this marginal consumption. That's interesting about that. It was then after apprentice to Ukuta Uguma, the most famous black meat, black meat in the Ghana, it did not fare, it did not fare any better at the blacksmiths than on the farm. At the intervention of his elder brother, James Idogun Akiri, he went to Mary's Catholic School in Ghana from August 1942 to December 1947. It was at St. Catholic School or so in 1948 and St. Joseph's Central School La Pen in 1949 all in Akoko Edo, local government area of Edo State. He was a teacher at Wadogo in Kogi in 1950 and at Dambala until August 1951. He traveled to Lagos where he marked as a shop assistant to a to Lebanese mission and later as a laborer at the customs in Lagos. I think I currently returned to teaching in 1953 and went to St. Columbus Teachers College, Ado, from 1955 to 1956 to obtain the Group Point Certificate. He then taught at the Mogad in the Ego State, Aire and Okengwa in Kogi State between 1957 and Sandros, Lagos in 1958. He started for the GC by private tuition from Rapid Results College, London. After his ordinary levels, he was at the Federal Ministry of Works and Surveys from May 1959 to July 1960. Nigeria, 1960. Nigeria Tobacco's Company Limited, Lagos from July 1960 to September 1961, and the Western Region Civil Service 
from September 1964 to October 1960. 1961 to October 1962. After a few weeks, after a few weeks since at the University of Lagos, he transferred to the University of Uganda and was there from 1962 to 1965 where he graduated with a second class honors upper division in economics. It was a technical it was a technical scholar from 1963 to 1965. He worked briefly as a sales assistant for Tezako Nigeria Limited before joining the University of Lagos as a graduate assistant. Under the USA Nigeria program, he attained an MBA from New York University, LYU in 1968. After returning to NYU in 1970, he obtained an embassy business administration in 1973 and PhD in 1974. He joined the University of Benin in 1975. He was the founding head of the department of business administration and then the team that started the full-time Masters of Business Administration, MBA, and the postgraduate diploma in management. He took a break from academics to serve as economic advisor to the Bengal State Government, headed by Professor Ambrose Ali, and was the senatorial candidate of the Unity Party of Nigeria for Bender North in the 1983 elections. Upon his return to academics for government service, Adobe Akirini was appointed professor in October 1984. The part-time MBA program was started under his leadership on his return from government service. He supervised the first student to obtain a doctorate degree in business administration from Nigeria University. He also served as Director General of the Center for Management Development, CMD, from 1990 to 1997, where he laid the foundation for a collaborative postgraduate program in management. He returned to the University of Benin in January 1998 and retired in 2005. Upon his relocation to Igara in 2008, he taught at the Department of Business Administration in the Abusali University, Epoma, until he left to join the descent to elephant in August 2010. I think I can remember this. Married to Eunice Olufunke Lawani, and they are married with two, oh, they are blessed with three daughters and two sons. Thank you very much. Put your hands together for him, please. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for him. Thank you. As, as you notice, the letters are quite tiny. And for you students, that is what happened to you when you drink too much, Gary. 
All right, put your hands together for him one more time, please. Thank you. He did very, very, very well. He does very tiny letters. Okay, so very quickly before I invite the chairman to please make his opening remark, and if, let me recognize and uh, in the entourage of some of the awardees today, Chief Ogadu, Ogada, the PDP chairman, he cannot, is here, please let's put our hands together for him, thank you. We also have Honorable Anthony Eleko, Elekoko, House Member Ekanot East. Welcome. Pastor Eric Wanchuku. Dr. Agbamuche Loki Ehiano is also here. Please put your hands together for them, please. We have Chief Mrs. Mary Agbogwe. Welcome, Madam. And of course, Honorable Ifain Ekoyega is also here. Thank you so much for coming. I want to respectfully invite Professor Barnabas Agbonifo to please also join uh, uh, the citizen at the high table here, please, Professor Agbonifo, please. The faculty officer, faculty of management sciences is here. Ms. Dari Edemi. Ms. Dari Edemi, please. Okay. I don't want them to feel that uh, we are not gender sensitive here, so we need you to just join them on the high table, please. Thank you. Because in the University of Benin, we are very gender sensitive. Put your hands together for the very delectable faculty officer. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, so at this point, we want to welcome the chairman of this occasion, and the chief host, Engineer Professor FFO Oromense, Fellow Nigerian Society of Engineers, and Vice Chancellor, who is here ably and well represented by Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic Professor Michael Asike. Mr. Vice Chancellor said. If for no other reason, is my name said, put your hands together again for me. The Vice Chancellor is on a body asset today. So he has asked me to represent him. Uh, so I'm just going to read this address. It's addressed by Professor FFO OSA, fellow Nigerian Society of Engineer, Vice Chancellor University of Benin, Benin City at the eighth professor at the Bayo, Akirele Memorial Lecture. The topic is uh, immigration remittance and the African economy. Holding this day, uh, 17th July 2019 at the Akinda Hall. Uh, principal officers of the university here present, members of the Senate that are present here, provost deans and directors that are present or represented, distinguished professors and emeritus professors that are here present, our Lord Tempra and Spiritual, staff and students of the Great University of Benin, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, A very good morning to you all on behalf of the management staff and students of this great university. I welcome everyone heartily to this auspicious event, especially our guest lecturer, Honorable Barrister Natasha Apoti. The Professor Akirele Memorial Lecture Series has become an important aspect of the vision of the university as a responsible institution with a mandate for teaching and research. 
this suspic the auspicious nature of this topic, immigration, immigration remittance, and the African economy must be contextualized against the backdrop of the challenge we face in our economy and the need to mobilize resources to unleash the God-given potentials of Africa, particularly Nigeria. We are the largest black nation on earth in terms of population. But this demography strength must now be translated to potent instrument for conflict development on all fronts. The University of Benin has considered as part of its compact with the society the stimulation of national discourse on critical issues concerning the nation. To this end, a series of eminent persons lectures have been held, inaugural lectures given addressing key aspects of our national development. In these lectures, I commend the Faculty of Management, of Management Science, for continuing the noble idea of Professor Adebayo Akerele Memorial Lecture as part of our contribution to generating ideas and stimulating national consensus on pressing issues confronting us. Professor Akerele is remembered for his versatility and scholarly contribution in the area of research in human resource management. No better tribute can be paid to this icon other than preserving and inaugurating and invigorating the environment of scholarly activities and ideas, ideas contestation, which he vigorously championed as pioneer head of Department of the Business Administration. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that today's lecture and lecturer we are waking and reawaken our consciousness as to the strategic contribution immigration remittances can make in actualizing the goals of our poverty alleviation and national economic consolidation. Once again, I welcome you all to this memorial lecture and to the great university of I urge you to listen and act attentively and engage in intellectual discourse that we go further as a policy initiative in these issues. Thank you and God bless you. Now, that's the address of the question. I want to make a comment here that uh, I briefly went through the profile of uh, Professor Adibayo Akerele and uh, his journey through his early academic career was here, there, here, there, here, there. You could see determination. And he was determined, and possibly he was destined to be great. I was delighted when I read that my small town contributed to this great man that we are celebrating today. Because at some point in time, he was in that door. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for Mr. Vice Chancellor. Please put your hands together for Mr. Vice Chancellor. Thank you. That small town is not a very big town. Somebody said, when I introduced the vice chancellor, I said you should clap for him because it's my namesake. And then somebody said, you've not told us your name. You've introduced every other person here today, and you've not told us your name. I apologize for that. The civil ladies and gentlemen, my name is Professor Mike Omoyingorale. I'm of this university. By the grace of God, I'm a very senior, senior teacher in the Faculty of Life Sciences, Department of Animal and Environmental Biology. Thank you. So you see, I have to move all the way from that side to come to Management Sciences today. For your information, I'm an auxiliary staff of Faculty of Management Sciences. Although the Dean and the HOD, they have not given me any course to teach. They have not given me any, any responsibility there at all. The only responsibility is that every year at the Memorial Lecture, 
of Professor Akerele, they will remember me and say, Mike, come. And I do not hesitate to come at all because, honestly speaking, Professor Akerele, Dara, Dara, we used to call him Bayo Akerele. I just got to say Adeba, Adeba, I'm trying to say Adeba inside now. He's a Bayo Akerele. He was a, definitely the quintessential gentleman and academic. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together one more time. Thank you so much. And while I was doing that introduction, uh, Professor Mrs. B. A. Isemila, <laughs> Madam of Accounting, welcome. But I think what will happen is that you have to come sit, sit down up here, ma'am. Mommy, please come up here, come up here. Because looking at the, the way they are sitting over there, Professor Bonifo is sitting on one end. The faculty officer is sitting on this end, so it's a similar you sit between them. <laughs> okay, I'll answer better for Professor Accounting, please. Thank you. It was not an error. I said Professor Accounting. I told you an error. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all you heard today, the speeches, the addresses, by the dean and the chairman of today's occasion is a prelude to what we are about to hear. But before that, who is our guest lecturer? We need to know her, and thereafter she'll be here to serve us this very, very interesting topic immigration remittances and the African economy. But to tell us about her, I have the pleasure to introduce the head of the department of accounting, Professor Sule Omoye, to introduce this day. become a professor without certain damages happening to your body, especially the eyes. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately the letters are quite tiny and then we will have to turn and read from the screen, if that's okay by all of us. So let us, please put your hands together for you, put your hands together for you. <laughs> professor. Do you know what just happened? It's the green guy, he doesn't want to use glasses. <laughs> and now he has, he, he, you have to pick glasses now, right? Natasha Hadiza Akoti 
was born on Sunday, December 9th, 1979, at the Maternity Hospital in Lorry, Prior State, now University of Lorry Pichet Hospital. She is the second of four children. She is the second of four children and only daughter of Nigerian father and a Ukrainian mother. <laughs> Natasha spent her formative years as a child, growing up and being educated in her native communities, Okehi and neighboring Okehi, Adabi and Ajakuta towns. For six years, Natasha attended Christ the King Mosby of Primary School, Okene, Kobe State, obtained her certificate of, certificate of primary education. Natasha Junior, Natasha Junior Secondary Education was at the Government College, Unity Secondary School, of Boroke, Kobe State. She proceeded from there to Federal Government College, Idwani, in Odo State, for her senior secondary school and graduated in 1997. Thereafter, she gained admission into the University of Abuja to obtain her Bachelor of Laws. Natasha Akoti is a woman of many hearts, educationally trained to become a corporate lawyer with an MBA in oil and gas. with an MBA in oil and gas professional. We said her career as legal counsel at the brand LNG in Lagos. Passion and commitment to help develop Nigeria made her a social entrepreneur where she advocated fearlessly for the revival of the state complex as a means of industrializing Nigeria Natasha also was the first woman to contest the Senate seat from Kogi State. <laughs> Under the platform of the Social Democratic Party at the February 2019 election. She's a top nationalist, a strong believer of Project Nigeria. Her first of all, I saw her attend academic institutions across the globe, from Nigeria to United Kingdom, America to Singapore, etc., etc. Et Although he doesn't like being called a politician, but a political reformer, as her emergence in politics is purposely to speed track her industrialization vision while performing the political space. While reforming the political space. Natasha students help impact investment program recently entered a partnership with NDDC as better to establish West Africa's largest technology innovation and business development hub in the coastal state of Aqua this is the list we have incubated and project the smartest trend, smart indigenous ideas for national and international markets, thereby providing solutions, creating jobs, and generating revenue. Natasha enjoys traveling to explore new places, researching and having fun with her three children. So I present to you our guest speaker.
Natasha Akoki. Thank you very much, sir. It's quite an honor to have you with so many China, that he is not aware of the Great Wall of Benin. 